Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley Callen, and I'm going to be doing a get ready with me today. It has been so long since I've filmed. It's been like over a month. I've just been super busy, a lot happening, a lot with school, a lot with work, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But yeah, I just wanted to definitely get something up since I miss filming. I miss all of you guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this get ready with me. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of talk and put makeup on at the same time and then I'll kind of let you know what I'm using. But if I do forget something, because sometimes I get to talking and forget to say what I'm using, but I will list everything in the description box as usual so you won't miss anything. But I'm just going to start out by priming my face with this Becca Backlight Priming Filter, the purple one. It's the Complexion Rescue. It's one of my favorites. So, yeah, it's been forever since I filmed. I did not get a video out the entire month of October. I've had so much going on with school and work, and I just haven't had time to do anything. It's not that I haven't wanted to film. It's just that I just have not been, like, inspired, I guess, to film anything. So I have a sample of this Estee Lauder Youth Perfectionist Serum Foundation I grabbed from work. Um, I'm just going to use that, and this is the shade 2W1 Dawn. So yeah, a lot has been happening lately. I actually got a new job. Well, I got two new jobs, so let me start from the beginning here. So I got a new job. I no longer am employed by Ulta. I'm employed by Estee Lauder, which is really exciting. Um, I am one of their freelancers in the Indianapolis area. So I still only work in Bloomington, but I'm actually employed by Estee Lauder now. So I'm super excited about that. Um, it's only about 20 hours a week. Oh, and this is a Morphe Y6. And I just, I'm doing half my face at a time because this kind of dries quickly. But yeah, I'm working for them now. I love it. It's a lot more high pressure since I actually have goals to meet, but I kind of like that and I work better that way. So I'm really loving that. I also got a second job for like a week. I don't know why I thought I was going to have time to have two jobs when I don't even have time for one job in filming and school. So that didn't last very long, but it was a good effort on my part to make some money. Um, but I worked at Buckle for like a week. And I really liked it. It was fun. All the people were super cool. It just was not, it was not happening for me right now. Maybe I'll try again in the summer. But, yeah, did not have time for that. Um, so I've just been really focusing on school, which we're almost at the end of the semester, which is super exciting. For those of you who don't know, I actually go to IU. My major is secondary English education, so a little fun fact about me. I don't really, like, I know I talk to you guys when I film, but I don't really, like, answer questions, like, about my life. So if a QA and a is something that you guys want to see in the future, definitely let me know because I'd be happy to do that for you. Um, and I'm really hoping to start getting back on schedule with filming, getting at least two videos up a week because this is something I really like to do, I really love to do, and I'm passionate about doing, but I just need to be more disciplined with my timing. <laughs> so let me go ahead and do the other side of my face real quick. Alright, next I'm going to do concealer and I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm just kind of put this in little dots. I've found that it actually looks better when I use less of this product because it is so thick. Um, so I've found in the past month or so that this is actually my preferred way of wearing it. And also, I don't apply it with a beauty blender anymore. I just use my fingers. And I found that it looks a lot more airbrushed. So, well, fun fact. And then when it's mostly blended in, I just take my foundation brush and kind of pat over it to make sure there's no lines. Alright, our concealer is done. And I did not grab a setting powder, so I will be right back. Okay, I just kind of, I grabbed my sample of the Clinique setting powder, which I still have a ton of it, and I got it this summer. And I use it about every day, so I'm like holding on to this little bad boy, so I don't have to buy another one. But I really do like it. And then I'm going to take this Eco Tools, I think it's a blush brush, but I like it for setting my under eye. 
and I'm just going to kind of stamp and then kind of blend it in immediately. Okay, and then I'm just going to lightly dust it over the rest of my face just so my skin is completely even for bronzer and highlight and all that. So I don't want it to be super matte all over. I just kind of like to set heavily in the areas where I crease. And I'm very pale right now for me. I usually have on some kind of self-tanner, but it was like applying really splotchy. I think it's because I didn't get it all the way off when I would like reapply it. So I'm like giving myself a break and my birthday is actually this week. So I think I'm going to just do it like right before my birthday. Tuesday, but my birthday's on Wednesday. I'm going to be 21. I'm so excited. It's like the most important birthday. And I'm going to be completely irrelevant after I turn 21. So I'm kind of sad. Like, I'm a little bit sad that I'm turning 21 if that, like, doesn't sound completely stupid. Because then I feel like I have nothing else to look forward to, like, ever again. And I'm not really contouring. I'm just kind of bronzing at my face. I think for today's look, I'm going to do, like, a holiday look, if you will. So that you could wear this for, like, Thanksgiving. And I think I am going to show, like, a couple different lip options for that as well. But yeah, we'll just see what I come up with. I actually did, like, I think it was like beginning of October, I was I filmed a clothing haul and it was just like a bunch of stuff I had got from a couple different places. Um, but I like went to go link everything when I was editing and everything was completely sold out. Like it was so quick. I don't even, like I got my order in the mail and I went to go film like two days later and then I filmed the whole thing like I liked it it was good and then I went to go link everything and everything was just completely sold out so I was like well I can't put this up because no one can even get the clothes that I'm showing so I was kind of bummed about that but maybe I'll do like a winter clothing haul okay for blush in it I'm gonna be grabbing my Morphe 9B palette and I think I'm going to use these two shades right here. I think those are pretty. I picked that up on my Morphe E4 brush. All right, and then I'm, I'm gonna be highlighting with the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighters, and I'm gonna be using Hustla Baby. And then I'm gonna do that on this Real Techniques brush. It's just like a little uh, blending brush. I don't like this brush. I like my fan brush better. I was trying to be different, but stick to what you know, I guess. There we go. Okay, so the face is mostly done, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so we can work on the eyes. So we're all up close and personal. Do not judge my eyebrows. Please do not judge my eyebrows. It has been forever since I've had them done, and I need to get them done, like, this week. But Addison, it's her birthday. It was actually her birthday on Sunday. So she's in Nashville for, like, the whole week, and I cannot get them done. So I have to, like, I just have to live with it. But, okay. Anyways. So we're going to go ahead. We already primed our eyelids with concealer. I'm just going to go over it one time with some translucent powder. First, I'm going to go in with the Violet Voss Times Laura Lee palette. This is actually one of my favorite palettes. It's like, I don't know, like I just, I use every single color in this palette. The quality is unreal, and it's just one of my favorites. And the shimmers are so unique. Like, it's not just like your typical shimmers that you see in every palette. They're like unique colors that are not everywhere. And I think for today's look, I'm going to be going in with this one which looks pretty like grayish green on camera, but in person, it's like has purple tones. It, it like reflects different colors, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna use that one today. But initially, to start out, I'm gonna be taking this Morphe M533, and I'm going to go in with the shade Chris Pot as our transition. And the names on this are so cute. She's from Alabama, so like all the shades are from the South. It's like, Alabama is one of them, Rammer Jammer, Ragamuffin, Britches, it's really cute. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the crease. Okay. 
Next, I'm going to go in on this M441 with Mama Bird. And I'm going to put that like over where I did my transition. All right, next up, I'm kind of just going down the row here. I'm going to pick up Ragamuffin. I'm just going to do that on the same brush. And I'm not going to put it in the entire crease, just kind of keeping it lower. But um, I'm going to focus it mostly on the outer part of my eye. And I was going to go in with Alabama right here, but I feel like... And on camera, it looks pretty like red base, but it looks more orangey in person. And I'm thinking I want something like more red since this is like a holiday look, like more of a cranberry. So I'm actually going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Mine's filthy right now, but it's okay. And I'm going to take the cranberry shade right here. And I'm taking that up on another 441, just a different one that has like red in it already because I did a similar look the other day. And then I'm going to put that just kind of lower in the crease. Love it. Okay, so I kind of got my technique down. So here's how I do it. I start by initial, initially placing it on the outer part and kind of wiggling it in. And as there's less product on the brush, then I start to drag it over into like the inner corner area. I feel so festive. Guys, my camera cut out. I did my lid color though. Um, and I used Yoshi from the... Laura Lee Violet Lost Palette and I love how it turned out. It turned out so cool. So what I did, I just put it with my finger all over my lid and then I went in with my blending brush and just kind of went over. But it looks really cool. It's like reflective. Very holiday-esque. I am going to add a little bit to the inner corner and the brow bone. And I'm going to do that using Sugar from the Laura Lee Palette. And this is a Morphe M321. Oh my gosh. In the midst of like finding out if I, my camera was on or not, I forgot to finish my lower lash line. So let me not get ahead of myself here. I was using the Morphe E18 and I'm taking Mama Bird and I'm just like running that under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the cranberry shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. So let me finish that really quick. I can hear Sadie snoring. She's so cute. So she had eye surgery. That's, we were like, this was a long time ago. Like, the, But that's the last time I filmed. That's the last time I like, updated you guys about her. She had eye surgery. She had cherry eye. And the minute, the minute she we took her cone off so she could eat, she literally, poof, one swipe of the paw, made the other eye have a cherry eye. So she now has to have surgery on the other eye. And that's happening in like a week. It's like the day before Thanksgiving, the 22nd. So, yes, she did that to herself. God love her. Okay, now I'm going to do the inner corner with Sugar on that same Morphe um, M321. Okay, my mascara is done. Um, I used a combination of the L'Oreal Telescopic and Carbon Black, as well as the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Foolproof Brow, Foolproof Brow Powder by Benefit. And it's kind of cool. It's like in the shape of an eyebrow. And it's got like a lighter shade and a darker shade. I usually just mix them together if I do put something in my brows. Um, and I like that the powder looks a little more natural. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. And then I just got this double-ended number at Target. So just pick one up wherever. But I'm just going to start by coming them up. And then mixing in these together. I'm going to start at the bottom of my eyebrow.
oh, my memory card was full, so I had to grab a different one. But yeah, I put on the first lip option, and this was Jeffree Star Mannequin. So it's like the perfect nude shade, and I have it on right now. I think it looks really nice. It kind of goes with the cranberry. So this is the first option. Okay, next up is a nudie brown. This is point zero by ColourPop, and it was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. So this is going to be like an in-between shade, and the next one I'm going to do is going to be bold. So I'll go ahead and do this one for you. Okay, so this is option number two, and I really like this one. More than I thought I would. I thought this was not going to be my favorite, but it just might be. It's like a perfect shade. It's not like a poopy brown. It's more of like a gray brown. But yeah, I like this. Option number two right here. Okay, then for option number three, it's going to be like a super dark purple. This is Ununiformly Fabulous by NAC. And I wore this in my last favorites video. It was like that dark, dark purple shade. Now this is kind of hard to apply. It's just harder to apply dark lips. So I actually use a brush and I use a flat brush. This is the Morphe M432, and you would never think to use a flat brush, but it's better because you can kind of go along the line like that. This is going to be probably my favorite option, I just have a feeling. But I don't know, because that last one was really cute, so we'll see. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with the actual wand. Okay, and you can always go back in and like clean up with concealer, but I'm going to let it dry first before I do that. But overall, I really like this color. But I do think that number two is my favorite, point zero was, would be what I would go for. But this is really fun. I'd probably do this for like a night out. And then for family time, Thanksgiving, I would do the point zero. But I'm going to go put on point zero, get dressed, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave today. As well as comment any other future looks you want me to do or any other video requests in general. You know, I love to hear from you. But yeah, I think that's about it. I'm so glad to be back on camera, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!